Girls basketball state tournament time tips off in Lincoln Westside trying to become the first class A school to go back to back in nine years facing Lincoln Southwest the 2017 champion. They face off in the quarterfinals the Pinnacle Bank Arena we go Westside on a nine game winning streak after losing to Southwest about a month ago. Third quarter Warriors climbing back from a 12 point deficit Brooklyn James hits from di distance Westside back within six. Then in the fourth Riley Nolan finds Elizabeth Robinson who slashes to the bucket. The senior cuts it to 53-49 with more than six minutes left. But the Silverhawks pull away 16-6 run to close out the game. 69-55, Lincoln Southwest eliminates Westside. Millard South trying to lock off Lincoln East. The Spartans beat the Patriots about a month ago. Third quarter, Millard South down two until Mackenzie Hoyt splashes home three over 16. Millard South now in front with the final 90 seconds. Jamie Horan hits from the corner to put the Patriots up one. The Creighton commit led all scores with 17, but with less than seven seconds to play, Lincoln East steals the inbounds pass, draws a foul, and Haley Peterson would hit a pair of free throws, and Millard South loses a heartbreaker 57-56. Tonight, the other two Class A quarterfinals, Benson and Pius at seven, followed by Millard North and Papillion La Vista, both games at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Class B, Elkhorn South, the only team in the tournament with a sub-500 record, but the Storm battle-tested after playing a dominant Class A uh, schedule throughout the season because they're a member of the Metro Conference. Let's see what happens today. Elkhorn South led by future Husker volleyballer Riley Gray taking on top-seeded Sydney. Storm end of the first half on an 8-0 run. Camden Small three ball at the buzzer. Storm up eight. She finishes with 14. Second half, Storm in transition. Gray. Finishing with 14 points, Storm taking down top seeded Sydney 51 37. It took us a while to get going, and we switched to man to man, and I kind of turned the game around a little bit. Uh, I thought we picked up our intensity and our aggressiveness, and, and then Riley decided to play really well today. So she had an outstanding game. Certainly did. Creighton Scott now in the 4 5 game. Greg McDermott in the house to watch daughter Sydney and the Skyhawks at state for the first time in eight years. Future Creighton Blue Jay Morgan Molly just too much for Scott today. Scored 11 points in the second half alone. Scott as a team scored nine and Scott's stay in the Lincoln tournament ends very quickly. 48 to 29 your final two more class B quarterfinals tonight. Seward in Grand Island Northwest at seven, followed by the defending champ Elkhorn taking on Waverly, both games at Devaney. Class C1, North Bend Central taking on Bishop Newman in the quarterfinals. First quarter, Cavaliers open the game on a 13-4 run. Alyssa Rizak, the three ball, she had eight points. Final seconds now in the quarter. The Tigers beat the buzzer thanks to Sydney Emanuel, team high 13 for the freshman. But Taylor Stir and the Cavs fight a tough one out in overtime, 52-48 your final. Let's stay in C1. Wahoo taking on Adams Central first quarter, pretty passing by the Warriors. Kyla Swanson will lay it in as Wahoo opens up the game on an 11-0 run. Then in the second, Warriors beat the zone again. Swanson with another bucket. She had 10. This one never in doubt. Wahoo improves to 24 and 1. 37-24 your final. C1 semis are set for tomorrow. Top seeded Mitchell and Lincoln Christian tomorrow morning at PVA, followed by the Battle of Wahoo, Newman and Wahoo Public. The state's top scorer, Daisy Nelson and Oakland Craig facing Ponca. Nelson averaging just shy of 27 a game. Early on, the Knights swing it to Ashley Denton. She hit five first half three-pointers. Knight up, Knights up a 31-20 at half. Second half, Daisy Nelson comes alive, scoring 21 points in the second half, 25 in the game. Oakland Craig moving on, 59-47 your final. Two more Class C quarterfinals tonight. Crofton plays Blue Hill. Lord Central Catholic faces Fillmore Central. Semifinals tomorrow afternoon at the Bob. Class D1, it's the 4-5 matchup between Archbishop Bergen and Lindsay Holy Family. First quarter, Lauren Baker had it going on. She scored seven in the first quarter, had 12 points in the game. This three-pointer ties things up at 10. Haley Kemp leading the way for the night. She scored a game-high 17, including this three-point play. Bergen wins 54-50. The Knights play Elkhorn Valley in the semifinals. The other win winners in Class D1, Pleasanton and Dundee County Stratton, those semifinals tomorrow morning at the Devaney Center. Class D2, top seeded Falls City Sacred Heart cruises to a 58-39 win. The Irish will face Sterling in tomorrow's semis. The other two quarterfinals to be played tonight at Lincoln North Star.